Thanks for joining us on this Tuesday night choo-choo with friends. Holly from The Morning Poor, Joanne Ralston Art, Lori Houston Art, and Nate Bright Art. We are all so thankful to have you watch, comment. We hope you like it, and we appreciate each and every one of you. Let's get started. Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining me at Lori Houston Art. How is everybody today? I am working on a 12 by 24 inch canvas. I have my pins in, I have it taped. I went ahead and painted my edges with Amsterdam Thalo Blue. Um, usually when I use a gallery wrapped canvas, I like to paint my edges when I'm doing a flower pot. This was something I just felt like experimenting with Enchanted. We're using Enchanted Blue, and that is actually going to be my swipe color. It's hard to believe that this will really look like anything once it's dry, but we will see. I'm using a whole bunch of colors today, so we are going to start with Porridge Posse Silver Lake Metallic. Love Porridge Posse paints. Look at that luscious color. And um, I think I'm doing just an old fashioned flower pot today. Then I'm going to do Porridge Posse Sleeping Beauty Turquoise Shimmer. Again, this is a whole bunch of blues. Um, my husband and I were out grilling, it's the weekend. And I said, you know what? I want to swipe with some of that enchanted. This is. Philo Signing Blue Liquitex Professional Grade. Okay. This is Porridge Posse Nate's Stormy Weather. This is Porridge Posse Denim Blue Metallic. Beautiful color. Okay, we have golden cobalt blue hue. All right, and then I'm going to finish off, I think, with Art Alchemy Turquoise. I'm going to go back with a little bit of this Silver Lake Metallic by Porridge Posse. Look at that blue. Beautiful. Good old fashioned swipe. You all know that I love blues and got away from it for a while. That seemed to be all I was doing. But, um, and when I say old fashioned, I'm actually going to spread them, mix them together. I hadn't been doing that either. I've been doing a lot of um, chaos swipes, reverse swipes, and decided today I'm going to go back to basics. Beautiful. I haven't used the enchanted paints, um, so I'll be excited to try it. Pretty. Looks good. There's one. All right, let's go ahead and torch. I just ran down and told my husband, hey, I know we're grilling. I feel like painting. I'm all set up. I won't be up there long. <laughs> he said, okay, no problem. All right. Now, I am 
just make sure I got all the bubbles. All right, let's go ahead and we're gonna pour a very thick line of the Enchanted. I'm not worried about waste right now because this is more about being able to, um, I'm actually going to drizzle some of the Enchanted before I swipe. And I'm gonna actually use a heavier paper towel. I'm hoping that I can pull, since I did a thick white line, I'm hoping I can pull most of that with me. Let's see. Okay, I think that's two, yeah. So I'm gonna dampen my paper towel. I'm using a paper towel instead of plastic. Um, okay. I'm gonna hold it kind of taut. Let it lay in that white. Let it set there a minute. All right, let's pull. Okay, keep it going. Keep it going. Slow and steady. and let it go over the edge very carefully. Beautiful, love it. Yay, okay, I think that turned out amazing. I think I'm actually going to use a straw. I'll bring Puffy over just in case. He is so used. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna use this big one and we're gonna do um, a big flower. Okay, so we're gonna get started. Start in this corner. All right. Here we go. Okay, I like it. Some stem. good old blue flower pop like I used to do and I think I'm gonna go ahead and I've been making my stems early and I'm gonna do that with this one as well there we go perfect didn't pick up any paint, so that's okay. All right, do one up here, the top. I'm gonna do a big one here. All right, here we go. Okay, here. Okay, so we are going to finish blowing out these flowers. Again, this is back to basics with a basic flower pop. I'm gonna put some music on and speed through this part so that we can get to the final embellishing touches. See you there. Walk with me Ever-changing weather Explore every bend of the road together An open heart when your world is a mess That's the only kind of love The only kind of love No need for presents or... Hi, everybody. Okay.
Okay, I am bringing you down for a close-up. This is absolutely stunning. Look at these petals. Oh my goodness. The flowers, the sparkle, they are just, oh my goodness, beautiful. Back to basics it is. I just wanted to do a good old fashioned flower pop. The ones, this is what I, look at that one. This is how I started. Um, it was using a straw and I didn't use puffy because I didn't have them. Um, look, oh my goodness. Now, we are gonna be able to see how, look, what is gonna happen with this enchant, enchanted paint. I'm gonna come up all the way Oh my goodness, I am in love with this. Hi everybody, okay. We are now going to get started. Um, get my camera situated. And what I thought I would do is this turned out really good. This is one of my just regular basic um, flower pops. You can see, I'll show you this flower really close how gorgeous they turned out. I love it, but it is basic. So I thought we would play around again with some Bling It. And we're going to do the Blue Diamond. All I do is I take a little bit of the Liquitex pouring medium. I put just a little bit so I can save it. You can see the blue in that, beautiful. And um, I'm gonna highlight some of my petals. And I also have um, this um, metallic paint marker. And I'm just, I'm gonna highlight some of these lines a little bit, I think. I haven't tried it, so I think this one is good. I don't really like, um, all. I don't think I'm gonna use it all the way. Um, I just, let's just see what it does. Let's try a line here. Well, that kind of um, outlines it a little bit better. Um, I don't know if I want to do many of them or any with this. I just wanted to see, try it. That worked good. Kind of give it a little more depth. Um, I have Posca pens, but these are a little bit different. I love these flowers but I just wanted a little bit more ump. I think it's because this is so familiar for me, meaning this flower pop is, you know, what I always used to do, my typical. So I'm just gonna go through and highlight some of the areas before I varnish it. Take a very, very fine brush and um, just embellish this in different areas. Okay, I'm just gonna go through and finish up putting this bling it on there. And then I am going to show you the piece after it's varnished. Don't forget, Nate Bright is up next. Okay, look at this varnish piece. It is absolutely beautiful. The bling it just stands out. It's created such a bright glowing effect on here. So thank you, thank you everyone for being here. I appreciate everyone and I will look forward to seeing you next Tuesday.